Hello, my name is Matthew, and I'll be explaining vertical phonics. What is grapeseed vertical phonics? In order to clearly explain this and to introduce the terminology for new teachers, we need to explain two terms. The first term is phoneme. The second term is phonogram. The phoneme is the sound that the letter makes. The phonogram is the written letter that we use to represent the phoneme. Vertical Phonics teaches the students to decode words based on a list of phonograms and their respective sounds. Students learn all the sounds, up to four, of a letter or letter combination at one time in order of frequency. Students learn to associate phonograms with the sounds that they represent then they learn to read and write by assembling phonograms. And finally, students practice with phonogram flashcards until they automatically associate the phonogram with the sounds or phonemes. Then they learn to read by recognizing the phonograms within text. What does that look like? Let's look at the letter A. The letter A has four sounds that we teach in grapeseed. A in the word apple, A in snake, a uh in water and a uh in around. A uh is the most frequently used sound of the letter A, and A in snake is the second most frequently used sound, and so on and so on. By learning the third and fourth sounds of letters, this increases the number of words that students can decode. This will also reduce the need for the students to guess what the word says. First, the teacher will hold up a card with a phonogram written on it. Then the teacher will air write that phonogram in a mirror way so that students can copy it correctly. They will then say the sounds in order of frequency and also hold up a finger showing one, two, three or four sounds depending on how many sounds that letter has. Then the students will see the phonogram in words that represent the different phonemes that we practice. The students will then try and identify the respective phonemes within a short poem. In this case, it's the first sound of A in the word apples and the fourth sound in the word a uh in, in a tree. Can you show me what this looks like when it's being taught? This is the letter A. Let's air right. A, 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 A. A, 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 A. A in apple, A in snake, A in water, A in around. Let's read the poem. Apples, apples, apples in a tree. One fell down just for me. Let's find the a eh sound in the poem. A eh, apples. A eh, apples. A eh, apples. Now let's find the fourth sound, the a uh sound. A uh in a, a tree. Let's read it one more time. Apples, apples, apples in a tree. One fell down just for me. Grapeseed doesn't use complicated diacritical markings to show students how to pronounce words. Rather, they teach the phonograms in parts of actual English words, which is especially helpful for younger learners. The markings that Grapeseed does use can be found when the students start to learn using the Grapeseed reading word cards. The markings are found on the back of the card and are very simple. Let's look at them. This little number under the letter I represents the second sound that I makes. In Grapeseed we teach three sounds of I, 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 E. In this word it makes the I sound in the word like. When the students see a little blue X under a letter, they know that that letter doesn't make a sound. In grapeseed, the letter E has two sounds, E and E. But in this case, the word like, it doesn't make a sound. 
so we put a blue X under it to represent that. The final marking that we use is a line with a little star at the bottom of it. These are used for words that don't follow any of the grapeseed phonogram patterns. The students will learn this as a sight word and learn how to spell the word rather than decode it by sounding out the sounds. By the time the students start reading, the students are already familiar with seeing the phonograms in words and seeing the words in print in the shared reading poems, the shared reading big books, and the writers. Having this base helps the students read with fluency and also comprehension because they already have a strong understanding of these words. Because of Grapeseed's well-controlled vocabulary, the students will have practiced and learned to assemble all the words necessary for them to start reading their readers with fluency. Because the students will have heard the words used in songs, chants, and stories, they have a greater understanding of what the words mean, giving them better comprehension of what they have just read. How do students use vertical phonics to decode words when it comes to reading? Phoneme phonogram relationships are very important when it comes to reading. Grapeseed uses repeated practice and systematic review so that students memorize these relationships to the point where they are automatically able to respond with the correct phoneme. Let's use the word cat as an example to show how this works. The students see the first phonogram. The students know it has two phonemes, k and s. The next phonogram has four phonemes, a, 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 and a. The final phonogram has one sound, t. In this case, the phonograms are represented by the first phoneme that they make, k, a, t, and it connects to the word that the students know, cat. The students know this word because the students have practiced it with their teacher in different teaching materials. Over time, the students won't need to phonetically decode k, a, t but we'll know it by sight as the word cat. What happens when the letters in the words don't make the first sound? Great question. Let's look at the word pencil. The students will see the phonograms and try and connect them to the first phonemes that they make. P, e, n, k, e, l. Penkel. The students are confused because it doesn't connect to a word that they know. The students will try different combinations of the different phonemes. P, e, n, k, e, l. Pinkle, another word that the students don't know. So they'll continue trying until they find one that does. P, e, n, s, e, l. Pencil. This is something that the students understand because it connects to something they've already practiced. How does this help learners with different types of learning styles? Students learn in a variety of ways. The kinesthetic learner will be supported by doing things such as air writing with the teacher, by modeling the stroke order, by holding up their fingers representing the sounds, or by doing activities in their writers. The visual learner will be able to see the teacher's mouth, will also be able to see the phonogram cards, the phonogram word cards, the shared reading poems, the shared reading big books, the reading words, the let's start reading cards, and the DVD. The oral learner will be supported by hearing the teacher modeling the sounds, by hearing the sounds modeled on the CD and on the DVD. And finally, the oral learner who will be able to follow along with the teacher's instructions. For example, this is the letter A. It has four sounds. That is Grapeseed Vertical Phonics.